Mendelssohn Scherzo, trauma time. Mostly because it's, we, we set up hurdles for ourselves that Mendelssohn probably didn't even think about when he wrote the piece. So and how does one do that? Uh, one has to be committed to it. One has to really either feel the desperation or the dream of that kind of job. And it was very interesting for me in preparing, digging back into this piece after not having played it, probably for 30 years, was what, what would I do if, if this were me and I really were desperate to take an audition? I don't love to practice. I can make myself practice, especially if I stimulate myself. I'm a real big one for play along accompaniments. I, uh, I have created a lot of accompaniments in this software program called Smart Music, where uh, you have the capability of recording yourself. The other yourself. thing I should say about is that a lot of really, really great flute players, especially under certain kinds of pressure, will take an extra breath in the Mendelssohn Scherzo. And, and I don't know how many times I performed it. It certainly wasn't hundreds, but I performed it a few times and was able to do it without taking so, the extra breath. So uh, the bottom line is this. I think we have to train ourselves kind of like, as, pardon me for saying it, Olympic athletes, where we have, to, we have maybe seconds to perform something well. In fact, it, it is minutes when you play an audition, but the truth of the matter is that most orchestral auditions, if you haven't really made your case in the first two or three minutes,